being an artist is surviving to you. I mean, it's an up and down. It's kind of like a roller coaster. You can be on top, but you've got to keep going. I grew up around a lot of people making things. I found my calling, I think, once my children got grown. And I'm a sculptor, which is what I feel like I was born to do. And uh, I think that probably influenced me and more than anything. But I didn't really become an artist until I was a grown man. I didn't take art in high school or college or anything. I started carving just wood pieces and things like that of different Cherokee images. I'm Eddie Morrison, and I'm a Cherokee, and Tahlequah is my home, right in the heart of the Cherokee Nation. I lived here all my life. I was raised by my grandmother, a full-blood Cherokee, and I've had the, been blessed with being able to be a sculptor. No matter what it is, I try to put something that relates to the Cherokee people. Well, seven, because we have seven clans in the Cherokee tribe, I usually will make a necklace that has seven. I haven't done this one yet, but indentations, which looks like seven little beads. You have to have a passion for your work and you want people to express some sort of emotion. Even if they say, oh, that didn't do anything for me. Well, I still have a story to tell with it and I hope it makes them have a uh, emotion after I tell them the story behind the story, or the piece that is. And the ultimate compliment to me that's ever been paid was when I have a blind person come up and they, they run their hand over the, the piece, and especially the face. I had this woman that was totally blind. They led her up there and she took her hands and, and it still excites me to think about it. I was watching her and she was caressing the piece with her, feeling it with her fingers and her hands. She went down there and she stood back and she said, that's beautiful. And I thought, wow. <laughs> Well, you start out with a blank something. Like if I took this stone right here and said, what can you make out of this? You'd have to really ponder it and think it and say, I don't know. And some people can look at it and see an image in there. I'm proud of being a Cherokee. It's opened a lot of doors for me. They'll ask me about my art and how it relates to being a I mean, what, if I tell them a story, if I've done one that's based on a myth or a legend or something about the people, I think that I carry that pride with me and I represent a native the Cherokee people when I go out anywhere. I'm just here for a little while anyway, so I know my art will be here a long time after I'm gone and that makes me feel good. So.